Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinika, and today we're going to make a rose and radish hair conditioner. So it may sound odd, rose and radish, but it's actually really cool. Uh, radish seed extract is uh, fantastic for hair. It works kind of like dimethicone does in hair. So um, let's get started. Okay, so to make your rose and radish intensive hair conditioner, you'll need a few ingredients, starting with rose water, Behentramonium methyl sulfate, also known as BTMS, daikon radish seed extract, avocado oil, DL panthenol provitamin B, glycolic acid solution, xanthan gum, phenoxyethanol, tetrasodium glutamate diacetate. You also need a hot plate or a stove top for this particular recipe. So to get started, we're going to here we go, let's push that aside for a second. We're putting our behentramonium methyl sulfate uh, into a beaker so we can melt it down. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. Oops, it looks like I dropped a few little pastilles, and that's okay. And we're going to melt that down with our avocado oil. So just go ahead and put that in there. And put that on our stovetop and let that melt down. It takes a little while for this to melt down. Um, the melt point of the BTMS is actually pretty high. So we're gonna get this pretty hot, probably um, 180 to 190 Fahrenheit. So we'll just let that melt and then we'll temp gun it and see where we're at. Okay, so now we've got this melted down. So we're just gonna push our hot plate aside carefully. Um, and we're going to add our daikon radish oil. And the reason that I'm adding this off heat is so that um, I don't ruin the properties of the daikon radish. Uh, what it does for hair is it provides all of this great combability. You can see it may have solidified a little bit, but it should be enough residual temperature to keep everything liquid. So we're gonna just set this aside for just a second while we heat up our water phase ingredients. So we've got our rose water which by the way smells amazing. And we're going to add to the rose water, the DL panthenol while it's heating up. It's fine to add it while it's heating up. So our DL panthenol goes right in there. And the glycolic acid solution, just put that right in there. And we'll wait for this to heat up and then we'll add our xanthan gum. And I'll show you a really easy method to add xanthan gum to any recipe. Uh, I've noticed that there are a lot of differing opinions out there about how to do it. Um, when we do it here at Essential Wholesale and Labs uh, for large scale manufacturing, we found uh, the method that I'm gonna show you is really the easiest way to um, quickly work xanthan gum into your formulation. Okay, so now that we've got our water phase heated up, um, we are going to add our xanthan gum. So you'll need your high shear mixer, your stick blender. And to mix xanthan gum, you simply put your high shear mixer into your um, water phase and start mixing and slowly sprinkle in the xanthan gum. So I'm going to start doing that. So you'll notice that as you're mixing, you may have to turn the speed up on your blender as it starts to thicken. have a nice a nice consistency gel so now that we've done that part now we can add our uh, behentramonium or BTMS and uh, av avocado oil and daikon radish seed extract and it looks like it's begun to cool a little too much so I'm actually just going to put it on the burner for just a second 
to clear it up from being cloudy. Okay, so now we're going to simply pour our uh, BTMS mixture into our rose water mixture. And we're gonna do this slowly to make our emulsion hold. on my mixer here. Okay, so now I'm going to let this cool down, and as it cools, it's going to thicken up quite a bit. So you can see it's pretty, it's pretty liquidy now, and it's pretty hot. Looks like we're at, we're at about 137. So I'm going to let it cool down to about 1, 110, um, and then we'll add our phenoxyethanol and tetrasodium glutamate diacetate for preservation. Okay, so now we're going to add our preservative and we're just gonna simply pour that in there. We're going to pour the tetrasodium glutamate diacetate and phenoxyethanol right in there. Okay, and we'll mix it in. I'm mixing quite a bit of air into here and that air will come out of your product and you're, you'll have a nice, just a really nice, beautiful, thick cream hair conditioner. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty well mixed. And we're just gonna test the pH um, and see where we're at. You want the pH to be someplace between four and a half and five and a half. Um, I like to go on the lower side because uh, the lower the pH, the more um, flat the hair molecule lays. And it looks like we're looks like we're right about four between four and four and a half, which I'm gonna say is pretty good. I think I'm happy being there. Okay. And let's see if I can get a little into a bowl here so you can see what it looks like. <laughs> kind of making a mess with it, but that's all right. Here we go. Okay, and there you have your final product. And just stir it up a little so maybe you can see it really well. It's kind of light and airy, but still beautifully creamy. Um, and like I said, that air should work its way out, so. Um, we hope you enjoy your new Rose and Radish hair, Intensive Hair Conditioner. Uh, please click the More button for a full description of how to make this product. And uh, thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos.